Rosie from the Wellington County Library. Although all branches are currently closed right now to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, our online resources are available to anyone with a Wellington County Library card. Don't have a card yet? Visit us at www.wellington.ca slash library and look for the link COVID-19 Library Information. From there, Wellington County residents can apply for a temporary card by filling out a form. If you have any questions about a pre-existing account, whether that's resetting a PIN or uh, if your account has been expired, you can contact your local branch by email and you can find those emails on our website in the About Us page. So today I'll be reviewing Funny You Don't Look Autistic by Michael McCready. It is available as an audiobook and ebook online uh, and to access Overdrive or to download our Libby app, you can visit our website and click on the ebooks link up near the top of the screen to get the link to download Libby or to read it right in your browser through Overdrive. So back to Funny You Don't Look Autistic by Michael McCready. Uh, small Town Ontario has a new comedic sensation. 22-year-old Michael McCready hails from Orangeville, which is pretty close by for most of us. Uh, not only is it really fun right now to read a local author, but this book was also recently something called a big library read. So what that means is all, a lot of libraries across North America all had unlimited access to downloads for the ebook and audiobook version of this book. So even though the big library read is over, this book still is available through ebook and audiobook on Overdrive. And you can actually visit www.biglibraryreads.com. And from there you can access conversations and see other resources on this book. So McCready toured all of Canada doing a stand-up comedy, and his book, Funny You Don't Look Autistic, is a snapshot of his life growing up with the autism spectrum disorder, uh, also known as ASD. Through anecdotes, life lessons, and experiences, McCready shares what regular interactions are like daily for someone with ASD. We get a detailed look at his school experiences, including why neurotypical behavior can be so baffling to someone with autism. We also hear about his journey to get started doing stand-up comedy. Since he still is very young, 22 like I mentioned, there is a lot of Michael's story left to be told. And he does jokingly make fun of himself throughout this for, you know, being arrogant to write a memoir when he's not even 30 yet. But I think his age is actually an asset here because it'll really help him connect with younger readers. Um, I would recommend this to young readers who have ASD or family members to those who have ASD as well. McCready does a really excellent job of making it clear that his is only one experience and that everyone on the spectrum is different. Uh, relying on stereotypes to understand a large and varied community like the autism community is unhelpful, so his very young memoir might bring some more knowledge for readers who are neurotypical as well, as well whether that's kids, teens, or adults. Overall, I would say this is a witty and educational book for those on the autism spectrum and off. I'd recommend this to anyone who's looking to learn more about one person's lived experiences in a light and enjoyable format. So don't forget to visit www.wellington.ca slash library and you can search our catalog or find lists and reviews not just from other readers like yourself but from library staff as well.